Jesus. Mm. Queen of heaven. Mm. Now, it's Astart, it's Astart, A-S-T-A-R-T-E in Greek. It's Beltis, B-E-L-T-I-S in Nineveh. It's Astarith. Remember we started off with that. Mm -hmm. Astarith for the Hebrew. It's Ishtar, or really Easter. I-S-H-T-A-R is actually pronounced Easter from the Babylonians. Mm. It's Samaritus, mm. also of the Babylonians. And it's Isis of the Egyptian religion. Now I can go and give you all of them, but it's the same person. It's the same goddess. Mm. Now, I want to show you something. I got to give you these names real quick. And we're almost done. I'll give you these names to show you that I'm going to show you it's actually in the Bible. Nimrod. Gen Genesis chapter 10, verse 8 through 10. Write it down. I'm not going to read it. Genesis chapter 10, verse 8 through 10. This is how the Easter story comes about. Nimrod. There's a person named Nimrod. There's a person named Samaritus. And there's a person named Tammuz. All right? Nimrod is found in Genesis chapter 10, verse 8 through 10. It was supposedly that he died, and his wife said he ascended to the sun, and is now called Baal, mm -hmm. which means sun god. Jesus. Remember when I read the scripture earlier? It was talking about Baal mm -hmm. and Asher, right? Mm -hmm. Pagans face the east and worship Baal at sunrise. Jesus. Many times for Easter Sunday, especially at the beach, sunrise services are being held. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's look at Ezekiel chapter 8, verse 13 through 18. You got a little bit more time? Amen. <clears throat> now I can see we can't put names to things that are like, ah, oh, maybe you know that's just we're just hearing it. But when it's actually in the Bible, Ezekiel what? Ezekiel chapter 8, verse 13 through 18. We're going back to when we read that one scripture. God told the prophet to go to the church, he actually said. And look at what's going on, he said. Mm. Verse 13, everybody there? Amen. Yeah. Ezekiel 8, 13. He said also unto me, turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abomination that they do. Uh -huh. Then he brought me to the door of the gate of the Lord's house. He brought him where? To the door of the gate of the Lord's house. Lord's house. Right? Uh -huh. Go ahead. Which was toward the north. Uh huh. And behold, there sat woman weeping for Tamar. Tamar's. Tamar's. <clears throat> so this was going on back then. Tamar's. I'm going over there myself. Just remember that name, Tamar's, all right? Mm -hmm. So there was Nimrod. His wife's name was Samaritan, which was Ishtar. She was the wife of Nimrod who co-founded Mystery Religion, which has pagan gods and goddesses. It's claimed that when, uh, when her husband died, he became the sun god. She was immaculate, conceived a child from the sun rays, and the name of her son was Tamaz. Mm -hmm. So Ishtar, who is Samaritus, Easter, Easter, who is actually Samaritus, was the wife of Nimrod, who's actually in the Bible. Mm -hmm. They supposedly had a child whose name was Tamaz, who we just said is in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. When, when Samaritan died, she returned to the earth from the moon. Mm. So the moon, there's an Easter egg with a half crescent moon on it. You'll see pictures of that. That's the representation of Samaritan, Easter. Easter. Mm. It's supposed that when she died, she returned to the earth from the moon, an enormous egg on the day of the first moon after seeing the equinox. This is where we get the idea of Easter eggs. She came down supposedly in a big egg, and I believe it was dropped in the Euphrates River, I'm not sure about that, but it was in a river. And she supposedly came down in a big egg. That's where we get the idea of Easter egg. And, her, and, and she became known as Ishtar, which is Easter, and her egg became known as the Easter egg. Mm. To show that she was deity, she supposedly turned a bird into a rabbit. Jesus. That's where the rabbit comes from. She was who they were worshiping in the Bible times when they said Queen of Heaven. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah chapter 44, verse 16 through 19. Let's see if there was anywhere in the Old Testament where people were worshiping the Queen of Heaven. Jeremiah, is all right? Amen. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 44, we're almost done. Verse 16 through 19. Jeremiah chapter 44, verse 16 through 19. Is there anyone worshiping the Queen of Heaven? As for the word that thou hast spoken unto us in the name of the Lord, we will not hearken unto thee. They ain't going to hearken. They ain't going to listen to us. Go ahead. 
But we will certainly do whatsoever thing go forth out of our own mouth. We're going to do what we want to do. Whatever goes out of our mouth, we're going to do, they say. Go ahead. To burn incense unto the queen of heaven. To burn incense to the who? Queen of heaven. The queen of who? Heaven. Right? If you keep, if you keep reading down and keep talking about how they was offering sacrifices to the queen of heaven. I can even go even so much further than Easter to the point that even when a Catholic took it, they made Mary the queen of heaven and burned incense to her. Jesus. Why? Because the false goddess was from the beginning. It's the same spirit that deceived everybody to the end. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Same spirit. Jesus. Are you seeing this? Remember. Look at there's that. It's serious. This is serious. Don't you know no good? Jeremiah chapter 7. Verse 17 through 18. Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 17 through 18. Now we're seeing worship of a queen of heaven before Jesus even hit the scene. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if the queen of heaven is Ishtar, which is Easter, and she's a queen of heaven, they was having Easter celebrations back then, and God condemned them. But God's people kept coming back worshiping Baal and Asherah, which is the same person. Mm -hmm. Right. Right? Yes. Are you seeing this? Amen. So how can Easter be the celebration for Christ when he didn't come in the flesh yet? Right. 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 <laughs> Are you seeing this? Amen. 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 Jeremiah chapter 7. Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 17 and 18. Uh huh. Seeth thou not what they do in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? Go ahead. The children gather wood, uh -huh. and the fathers kindle the fire, uh -huh. and the woman knead their, knead their dough to make cakes to the queen of heaven. They made cakes to the queen of heaven. Mm. We make hot cross buns mm. to honor her. Jesus. You go to dinner, you'll see a bun there with a cross. Tamaz was the immaculately conceived child from the sun race who also became the husband of his own mother Samaritans. Do you hear that? Mm. <laughs> so she ended up marrying her own son. Jesus. Because she believed in reincarnation. Mm. And the son God Bell reincarnated himself into his own son who actually became himself. This is foolishness. Yes. After he lived to be about four years old, some people say he was a young child, so that's here or there. He was killed by a wild pig while he was hunting. Like his dad was a major hunter. He, he, was, he lived before his old was killed by a wild pig while he was hunting. Ishtar, Samaritan, went to the underworld to plead for her husband's son <laughs> so they could resurrect the life. They mourned for 40 days prior to spring. Jesus. <clears throat> mm. I'll go back and read Ezekiel chapter 8, verse 13 and 14. Well, well we already read it. You know how it said they was weeping for Tamas. Right. Are you hearing? Uh -huh. Let's look at the customs of Easter. Easter eggs. Easter eggs represent the so-called egg that Samaritans came down in. The coloring of Easter eggs has great significance to the pagan customs. The red ones especially. You can all look this up. The red ones especially. Mm -hmm. The red color eggs represented the blood of sacrificed babies that get sacrificed during the time of Easter. Jeez. This goes on in pagan religions right now. Mm. The priests have sex with virgins on the altar. Mm. And the representation of the blood that is spilled is for that child who's going to be the sacrifice the following time. And they sacrifice a three month old baby. Mm. So that's why they color their eggs red. Mm. To represent that. That's deep. You can look it up yourself. So we're coloring these eggs. All we're doing is celebrating the death of children mm. being sacrificed to false gods. Wow. See, back then they would literally take the baby and throw him in the fire. But we're doing it the same way now. When we take our children to church and don't teach them this truth, we're sacrificing our children, offering up what? Strange fires. fires. Mm -hmm. Spiritually, though. Mm -hmm. Are you seeing this? Mm -hmm. Rabbits, Tamus love rabbits, which became sacred nature religions, and you can check it out. Also, was said that Samaritans turned the bird into a rabbit to show her divinity. Mm -hmm. Lent custom comes from the proclaimed 40 day fast by Samaritans prior to the anniversary of the death of Tamaz. During this time period, no one can eat meat. Mm. Sound familiar to you? Mm. Yes. Amen. The Catholic religion started out at one point in time, you couldn't eat no meat. But then they said, man, this is foolish, I'm hungry, so you can go ahead and eat meat on Friday. <laughs> Listen, this is foolishness. When the Catholics started Lent, they were not allowed to eat meat the entire time. Now it's only on Fridays. And all of a sudden, they are the ones that made Good Friday. Mm. Candlelight services. Tamaz also ascended 
to the son when he died, when, when he and Baal are worshipped, the people made, you ever see this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When he and Baal are worshipped, the people made the form of a T in front of the heart and said that they are present in the earth in the form of the flame and the lamp that's lit. Jesus. These services are just one big white candle and the flames there, and as if they come down to that, and you'll see them go down to the thing and go, Tain ass. Mm. Mm. T for Tain ass. Jesus. You can check it out. How many of you have ham ready? You want to know where the ham came from? Why it has to be ham? People eat ham on Easter Sunday because Samaritans proclaim that a pig must be eaten on Sunday since he's the one that killed her child. Mm. Mm. Jesus. That's why, you, that's why you make your ham. Because oh. mm. he don't want to kill the child. Because the tame ass was killed by a wild boar, a pig. Oh. So she said, you going to eat that. Mm. Uh -huh. That's why they have ham. Or someone else tell me why they got hanged. Right. Hot cross buns. This was an offering to the Queen of Heaven. We just showed you that, which is a form of worship. These are pop these are popular to have at Easter dinner. Catholics refer to Mary as the Mother of God, the Queen of Heaven. That's Revelation seventeen five and Revelation eighteen four. That'll come in significance in the end times, and that'll come in significant to the Sabbath day. For those who have questions afterwards about the Sabbath day, you're going to see where the Antichrist is going to come through. That's a whole other teaching. Some people say they know that Easter customs are pagan. And I told you, I talked to almost every single pastor, at least around here. They're like, I know, I know it's pagan, I know. But we're really not serving that God. Mm -hmm. Then why do you put that God's name on your, on your thing? Well, we switched it. What, I'll give credit to uh, First Christian Church. After two years of talking to them, they did switch it. They took it down from the Easter drama to just a musical play. I give them that. That's, that's awesome. I, that's a testament of God. Mm -hmm. But still. If you say, oh, but I understand it's pagan, but we're not really worshiping that way. I'm going to show you something. Exodus chapter 32, 5 through 10. Please everyone turn it because this is the last two scriptures. Exodus chapter 32. And I'll read this. Verse 5 through 10. So when they say that they took these customs, and or, or they call it Easter or whatever, they're saying, but I, we understand Easter is pagan, but we're really worshiping God. Let's see if that ever happened in the Bible before. Because if I can show it in the Bible, then history repeats itself. Right? Right? Yeah. Remember when Moses went up to get the Ten Commandments? Mm -hmm. And people were like, man, this dude's taking too long. Yeah. I'm trying, man, we got to get up out of here. I don't know if he's right. losing his mind. He ain't coming back. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Yep. Verse 5, I'm going to read. Exodus 32, verse 5. You there? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when Aaron saw it, he built an altar before it. And Aaron made a proclamation and said, Tomorrow. Is a feast unto the Lord. Mm. Now everybody's saying that today, right now. Tomorrow is a feast unto the Lord. Jesus. And they rose up when? Early. Early on the morrow. They offered up burnt offerings and brought peace offerings. And the people sat down to eat and to drink, and they rose up to play. Look at your neighbor and say, Stop playing. Stop playing. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go get thee down for thy people, which thou brought us out of the land of Egypt, have what? Corrupted themselves. They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them. They have made them a molded calf and Easter bunny and have worshipped it. Mm. And have sacrificed thereunto and said, These be the gods, O Israel, which have brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. Jesus. And the Lord said unto Moses, I have seen this people, and behold, it's a stiff-necked people. Mm. Now therefore let me alone, that my wrath may wet walks wax hot against them, that I may consume them, and I will make of thee a great nation. Mm. Notice that they said they're making a feast unto the Lord, but was using idols. Mm -hmm. Amen. They wasn't saying, okay, the idol again, the idol, idol. They're saying, we're making this to the Lord. Mm. Using the idol. Using the idol. Mm -hmm. So they was really thinking, yeah, we're sacrificing to God, but at the same time saying, but these idols, mm. we got to have. Mm. Are you hearing me? Amen. So there's no more saying. We know it's pagan, but we're really doing it for this. Same thing on Christmas. Oh, we know we shouldn't have a tree inside our own, because Jeremiah chapter 10 says so. We know, we, we understand it's pagan, but we're really representing Jesus. Mm. Yeah, the other Jesus. That's what this Bible talks about in Christ. Jesus. Right. Are you seeing this? Amen. Yes. What does it matter if we have Easter on our signs? What does it matter? We know when they come to the door, we say Resurrection Sunday, let me show you how serious this is. And you tell me if you've ever seen this. Exodus chapter 23, verse 13, and we'll wrap it up. Exodus 23, 13. Exodus 23, 13. Oh, my Lord. Get there. 
When I seen this, this blew my mind. For a minute there, I had to pray and say, am I allowed to even say this? Hmm. You there? Exodus 23, 13? Mm -hmm. yes. And in all things that I have said unto you, be circumspect. And make no mention of the name of other gods. Mm. Neither let it be heard out of thy mouth. Jesus. Yes. Make no mention. Okay, we follow Jesus. And all our signs say Easter. Did I not show you today that Easter is Samaritan's Ishtar? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> So she's a false god. Amen. So when you put her name up on your board, yeah. you're going against that. Yes. When you walk and say, Happy Easter, let it not come out your mouth. Woo. Am I twisting it? No. no. As Malcolm X would say, we've been bamboozled. Mm. Good point. Good. Run astray, run them up. Mm. Let's end on this. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 10 through 12. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 10 to 12. Did anybody get truth today? Amen. This Amen. matters. This ain't information you take and go bash somebody with and tell them that they're devil worshipers. This is about truth, and the truth will make you free. And it only matters to you if you want to honor God. If it's my birthday, how many of you think it would be wrong if my boys from the church took me to the strip club and celebrated my birthday? Ooh wee! Mm. Mm -hmm. Some people might like it. Listen, that's the same way when you go to church and think you're honoring Jesus of the Bible, you're putting him in a whole bunch of pagan customs. Mm -hmm. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 10 through 12, listen to this. And with all deceivableness, deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish. Because they received not the love of the truth. Jesus. That they might be saved. Mm. You can hear the truth and don't end up saved. You better love the truth. Love it. You see that? Yes. And for this cause, because you didn't love the truth, God, everybody say God. God. Shall send them a strong delusion that they shall believe a lie. Jesus. I always stress this. It doesn't say the devil is going to do it. It says God will do it. Mm. God will send them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned, who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in this unrighteous celebration. Mm. That's true. So you never say it is what it is. It is what it is. You better love this truth. We end on this. Yes, we should celebrate the death of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Without his death, Jesus. We would all be in trouble. Hallelujah. But you must appreciate Hallelujah. that he died for you because you were supposed to be the one that died. Yes. Because the wages of sin is death and we all sin. We all sin. All of us. The person that said they never sinned is a liar according to the Bible. Mm -hmm. But God was so loving that he said, I will come down, wrap myself in flesh and human form, mm. and I will take the penalty yes. and the power of sin on our lives. Mm -hmm. Let them kill me. Let that give me your sins today. Let them bury them sins in that ground. Mm. But when I rise up in that power, your sins is left down there dead. Jesus. And you can rise in the likeness of the heroes mm -hmm. and the resurrection. Right. Hallelujah. It's true. But also, when he died, that's very important. Yes. But as Paul said, hold up. Hold up. If there ain't no resurrection, what? Go eat, go drink, go be merry. Jesus. Because it's the resurrection, resurrection. that's actually the most important because every man has died. Mm. But Christ resurrected. Yes. Hallelujah. He resurrected, you can resurrect in life, mm. spiritually and physically. Yes. And in after life. Mm. That's what we believe. Mm. When we believe that you have to believe that in truth with all of your heart, all of your mind, all your soul, all your emotions. It has to be a serious decision that you make. The Bible right. says count the cost first. Make sure you're really wanting to do this. Right. You hear that? Yes. 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 But you might not love yourself. Mm. Someone might not love you. Mm. But God did. God did. Hallelujah. That's what this is all about. Jesus. Do you believe that he loved you? Yes. All the stories in here is true stories that show that a God who still wanted to be with sinful people. Right. When Adam and Eve sinned, even though when they did that, I always say this, Notice in the verse, I think it's verse 7 or 8 in Acts, or Genesis chapter 3, it says, but God still came looking for them. Mm. Right. Even though they was hiding, mm. it said he still was coming for them. Mm. 
Jesus. God's been coming for you. Right. Mm -hmm. The question is, all you have to do is talk back to him. Amen. If there's anybody in here that wants more truth, all you have to do is ask God for the truth. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit will teach you. But I thank all you for coming, but don't think you came on your own decision. Believe that there's a spirit more powerful than you that led you here. Yes. To hear truth. Mm -hmm. But can't force you. And he won't force you. He won't. Okay. Like that. To accept right. truth. Yes. We'll all stand on in prayer. Amen. If anyone has any